Turn it up, mm. turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. Welcome back, Dukes and Duke. Yes, it's your man Ed the Ed. You watching Eddie Ed TV? Back with another video, baby. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? Oh, so look, she changed her shoes. I noticed she had on the her feet was the 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 girl in the brown or black. Yeah, the brown right here. She switched her shoes. She wore the heels at first. But I guess her feet was was choking because I could see it, like it was spilling out. Honestly, it was spilling out, <clears throat> and so she switched her shoes on us. There she go. That make more sense. Like they should all wear flats, bro. All of them should should like be being flats. That's just me, so that they can't use that dumb excuse. Oh, I'm telling you in the hills, so I can't. Uh. So my name is Jairus Williams. Jairus. Jairus Williams. Okay, and how old are you? I'm 26. 26, and what do you do? Oh wow, he seemed so like. I'm a Marine vet. And I'm a Christian recording artist. I sing. Thank you for your service. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, what are some things you like to do for fun? Uh, I love the water. I'm a water baby, so okay. uh, you know I was. Um, I'm the only home birth out of uh, all eight children. Wow. So um, I love the water because I was born in the water. So okay. I'm a little fishy, you know. <laughs> I'm a little swimmer, you know what I mean? Okay. So. <laughs> and uh, what are some things you look she for? She popped them on a fishy. Um, she got to be God fearing for sure. Um, and she got to be kind. She got to be gentle. She got to be loving. And uh, she also got to support her man okay. in everything that he do, just like I'm going to support you in everything that you do. Got it. Now, what are some of your deal breakers? Um, somebody who's not willing um, to listen, willing to learn, um, willing to grow in their relationship with God. I understand that some people may not know who God is or never have an experience with God. But if you're willing, like God expects us to be, I can rock with that. That's a good point. <clears throat> That's a good point. Working with somebody that uh, is able, is willing to listen, willing to uh, learn. Those are good qualities because, <clears throat> you know, as, the, as definitely adults, young adults, whatever, you know, you get a lot of people that's headstrong, that don't want to listen, that don't want to, uh, you know, give you a chance you know, to explain yourself, X, Y, and Z. So those qualities are good qualities, I think, to have in a person. It doesn't even matter what. If you're dating or not, just like a person that would just listen and, and that would, <clears throat> you know, hear you out and also willing to learn something new, you know, and not always be embarrassed about stuff that they don't know and, and, and just willing to be open to, to, to learn new things, you know what I mean? And so <clears throat> those are some good qualities, I would say. Okay. All right, mm -hmm. so we, <laughs> we did get a, a pop balloon. That's all right. Let's head on over there and see why she ended up popping. Hello, if we can start off with your name and age. Why the twins Jasmine. why the twins got to do it? Okay. And Jasmine, why did you end up popping your balloon? Yeah. Um I think you're very handsome, sure. you know, but it's just not really my my type. But you're very handsome. Okay. And I love the words you spoke, so yeah. Okay. Okay. And so what makes him not really your type? Um I Well, I think he's really handsome. I just think that, Thank you know. You. Yeah, of course. Um, and he spoke beautiful words, and I love that, you know, but just not really my um, thing. I think maybe the girl, maybe that. Oh, I'm from Texas, so that's, what, that's how we get down. So. Oh, I, it's nice, though. <laughs> oh, I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> and now, is she someone that's your type? Um, she's very beautiful. Um, I don't really do a whole lot of approaching. Okay. So, um, not that I'm against it or anything like that, but she's definitely so, like, very, very beautiful. So, okay. absolutely. All right, cool. Thank you. Let's go to our next lady. Your name and age, and why you ended up popping your balloon? Um, my name is Alexis. I'm 24, Hello. and um, I popped my balloon because, like my sister said, <laughs> you're very handsome. You're, you know, very well put together. Thank you for your service, by the way. Well, thank you. I appreciate you. Uh -huh. Um, it's just not like you're not. Hey, hold on. Hey, why you popping? Why everybody popping, man? Chill, like, they, come on, give the Texas brother, come on, man. Bad looking, I'm just not, like, attractive. Okay, that's fine. I actually like the girls here, by the way. Oh, I appreciate it. <laughs> that's okay. All right, so I know you said you don't do a lot of approaching, mm -hmm. and they are sisters, so you said you... Like oh, yeah, we definitely don't do that. I'm a man of God, so... Yeah. Oh, no, no, I didn't say you approach them both. Oh. I meant say, like, they're twins. Oh, okay. <laughs> He thought he was talking about get both of them. He said, we definitely don't do that. I'm a man of God. Hey, keeping it real. 
You know, he's keeping it real. He, he, he ain't doing doubles. He's doing only singles. So I appreciate him making that clear in case anything might have been put in there. But anyway, <clears throat> but that's hilarious. Hey, okay, awesome. Okay. <laughs> so I know you said she was, you know, she was ready for all that Absolutely. stuff. So is she someone that you type as well? Uh, yes. Okay. Just wasn't approach. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go to our next lady here. Your name and age? Alaya, and I'm 25. Right, and Hello. Alaya, why'd you end up you don't look 25. Your it's the water thing. I have a fear of the water. I can't swim to save my life, so that wouldn't be a you good could learn. I can't swim either, so. You, you <laughs> <laughs> you I'm being swim, honest. But you love the water. How I got a life jacket. Oh, okay. stay with him. So I got one for you too. Uh, I mean, well, I had one for you. So. <laughs> okay. It was prepared. That. You prepared. Mm. Yeah, but it was the water thing. It was, I thought that was like a big thing for you. It was like in your lifestyle, and I didn't want to be, you know, intruding on that. So oh, I appreciate that. that. Mm -hmm. It's cool. Okay. I mean, she don't look can't 25. Swim. He got a life jacket for you. I don't know, but it seemed like he want to do a lot of water activities, and I, you know, <laughs> I don't think I can do it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So is she someone that's your type? Um. Yes, yeah, she's very beautiful. Mm -hmm. I still wouldn't approach. Okay. I'm very particular. Okay. Thank you. Let's go over okay, here. Okay, so so his tactic of letting him down <clears throat> is pretty cool. Like he's like, "Hey, it's pretty, but I wouldn't approach." So I know what he's saying, but it, he's letting him down real nicely. I like that. Your name and age? I'm Asia. I'm 25. How you doing, bro? You don't look well. Okay, I'm not. She don't look 25. And Asia, why'd you end up popping your balloon? Um, no particular reason. It's mm. just you look um, 35 at least, bro. But like, so does the really other my one. Type. Okay. I love that what you were saying about the Lord, though, for sure. For I'm sure. With that. Okay. Yeah. What kind of makes him not really your type? A little taller. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. We hear that sometimes. Exactly. You know, we can't change our height, so yeah. it's all good. Okay. You know. And how tall are you? Uh, I'm 5'10". 5'10". Mm. That's not bad. Not bad. Okay. <laughs> not bad. Not bad. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's and, all right. <laughs> and now she's someone that's your type? Um, she's very attractive. Uh, still would not approach because I'm very particular. I know what I'm looking for. All right. All right. Thank yep. you. Yep. So there we go, man. Over here. Your name and age? <clears throat> princess. I'm 23. Okay. And princess. Hello. Definitely princess, don't look 23, you end up man. popping your balloon? Um, I would say at look first older. it was the whole cowboy thing, but I was like, you know, that's not. But then the more I thought about it, I'm more so spiritual. I've been trying to figure out how I feel about religion. You know, mm. I grew up Christian and into oh, that, but I've been man. figuring out myself. So I feel like, you know, I feel like you probably want someone who's already finding their self with God type type deal. Uh, not necessarily. Um, so I'm a Christian recording artist. I'm a Christian man. Um, but my, my debut album is called Coming Into Faith. So it's telling my testimony. Mm -hmm. I was still in the clubs. I was still drinking, smoking, partying. Um, I faced death and stuff like that multiple times. So um, I don't, you know, judge people where they are. You know, uh, we can grow together if that was going to be a thing. You know what I mean? Um, I just wanted somebody who was willing, you know? Yeah, you don't have that. to be, like, on this high level, like, right. super, like, pastor and this and that. Like, no, mm -hmm. absolutely not. Okay, I feel that. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. It's going over here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, I'm Alex. I'm 25. Hello. Well, nice to meet you. Nice to meet um, you, too. You're really cute. I'm just not a fan of piercings. Oh, that's okay. That's it. I mean, yeah, just piercings. Oh, okay. I respect that. Okay. And now she's someone that's your type? Uh, she's very attractive. Um, I know I'm saying a lot of the same things, but uh, at the end of the day, I just still wouldn't approach. Um, not anything against you or anything. I, like I said, I know what I'm looking for, so. Respect. Mm -hmm. But you are very beautiful. I want to let you know that. Thank you. For sure. All right, let's go over here. Your name and age? Hi, I'm Taylor. I'm 22. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Um, the reason I just feel like more like close friends, you know, you're attractive. I like, I like it all, but for sure. Yeah. I'm just getting like, we can have like a real good bond. Yeah. <laughs> Feeling the same vibes. Oh, I appreciate the friend. Um, how she said we can be close friends and things like that, but, um, I'm not looking for friends right now. Um, uh, I'm looking for love, you know, somebody to marry and cherish. Um, and have kids with and stuff like that, so. Understandable. <laughs> Thank you. Let's go on over here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. So, my name is Paris. I'm 28. Hello. Hey, if she say that alpha female crap again,
I'm tur- I'm I'm ending it here, man. <clears throat> I promise you. <clears throat> if she's well, actually, we, we we gonna hear her out. You know what I mean? If she even say that, but after that, I'm I'm done. We gotta cut her out the list, man. Come on. Hi. So I popped my balloon because um, <laughs> I'm an ominous, and I don't want it to get to a point where it's just like it becomes forceful in the situation. Like everything you list is cool. Like. I'm like a person huh? that um, I'm supportive of everything and everybody and whatever their journeys are. It's just that it's gonna always be an issue, like in the future. Like, hold on, I gotta look up what ominous is because ominous. Hold on, we gotta look that up, man. We gotta go back to what she said. I tried to find that ominous word. I don't know what. I don't know. Hold on, we gotta go back. Like. I'm like a person that I just want a situation. Like everything you live to get to a point. Um, <laughs> I'm an ominous and I don't want it to get to a point where it's just like. Ominous. Listen, I have never heard that word before. Somebody that knows that word, drop it in the doggone uh, comments for me. Let me know what that means because I don't know what that means. Help me out. It becomes forceful in a situation. Like everything you list is cool. Like. I'm like a person that um, I'm supportive of everything and everybody and whatever their journeys are. It's just that it's going to always be an issue, like in the future. Like, when are you going to, you know, come back? And I kind of graduated from religion. So graduated. Yeah. OK, but uh, you is handsome as fuck, though. I ain't going to lie. OK, that's I appreciate <laughs> you. And you're very beautiful. Uh, I just wanted to say, um, you know, from the bottom of my heart, um, God has saved me from a lot of things. Like I said, I faced death uh, a lot of times, and um, he's the only one that brought me through. So I can sing. I have a gift to sing, and I'm very good at it. And so I gave it to the Lord, and he gave it back to me. And he said, go reach my people. I'm going to give you the message to convey. Now go convey. And I'm going to be an, ob- I'm gonna be an obedient child, and I'm going to do just that. Um, so nothing or no one can detour me from that but i do appreciate your honesty and being up front with me absolutely but um that's just my calling and i don't force that on anybody understood mm. thank you thank you <laughs> all right let's head back this way okay so that is all the balloons popped but we do thank you very much for coming on let's thank go ahead you. and give it up for them, ladies thank y'all ladies my guy my guy did it right yeah, he represented the lord headstrong and he but you know one thing that it was a little bit shaky is that you know we know as believers we're not supposed to be marrying unbelievers knowingly you know that that's not the best situation for us because then we're gonna uh be kind of starting off at war you know because <clears throat> what fellowship does darkness have with light and you know it talks about how we're already at war light and darkness and so for those who are in Christ, if you marry somebody like that, it's already going to be, uh, it, we're already pre predispositioned, you know, to be against each other or to have a split household because one, one will serve the Lord and one won't. And so we have to be on the same page for it. So if he is saying he will accept somebody that doesn't know the Lord, he might be putting himself in a tough situation because that's not, that's not advisable. You know what I mean? But if I misunderstood him, I misunderstood Oh, excuse me. If I misunderstood him, I misunderstood him. But if he's saying that, yeah, I don't think we should go on that side, bro. That's all.